Hello class. Today I'd like to teach you to use a free online software called Storybird.com to create your own picture book. So let's get started. I need you to enter your username and password that I've provided for you and hit submit. Your page should look something like this. This is your own account and if you'd like to change your password you may. Go to you and then settings and you can see you have several different options here. You can change your password, you can create your avatar and add some more personal information about yourself so that different books can be selected for you later on. But for right now let's move on. I want to show you how you can explore the different books that are on this site. I'd like you to look at several examples today before you get started creating your own. So on Storybird, it's sort of the reverse of the writing process. We don't start with the words and add the illustrations. You actually start with the illustrations or the artwork that Storybird provides. And then you create your story around that artwork. So let's look at some examples. Here on our home screen, we see the featured story today is Myla and Sam. And if we scroll down, we can see some more. This is new and noted, so some new stories that are... Uh, recently been placed online. Here's some new art. Here's a featured author. Okay, so this is one way to explore. So why don't we just go back up here and look at the first book, The Featured Story. And as I place my cursor over the book, you can see this arrow appears and showing me that if I click, I'll be opening the book. And also, I'll draw your attention to this toggle which allows you to go to full screen. One more thing I want to show you about these books uh, in the bottom right hand corner there are tags and these tags tell you some information about the kind of book you are reading. So it can tell you about what age group it might be appropriate for, what characters you might find, and what the theme might be or category. Another neat thing is we can learn something about the author. So here's the author's name, and if we click on that, we can go to View Profile. And you can learn something about the author. We can see uh, how many stories they've created. We learn something about their background. Okay. We're going to go back right now because there are some other ways to explore books on this site. So on the left-hand side, we have some lists of the featured stories and authors. Um, we have some that are most popular. There are even some that have been created for competitions. I want to draw your attention, though, to the categories section. So you can search by theme or category. Um, so if you'd like something about humor, perhaps, click there. And it gives you several options. You can also search by age. So for your age, or for somebody younger than you, if you have a little brother or sister, you'd like to find a book on here to read to them. All right, so there's lots of ways to explore and really pay attention to what the authors do to make their words work around the art that they've selected. So let's get started. When you're ready to start your book, you're going to click on Create at the top. And of course, the very first thing we have to do is choose our artwork. So they give us some sampling of some art here. And you can click on any of that to choose some of that art or to look at other art by that artist. Or we can look at some of the tags that they provide us. And you can even search tags. So let's say we wanted something about dogs. We can search for dogs. And here's the artwork that's provided about dogs. And if you were to choose this for your book, you would choose use this art for a story. So now you're ready to create your story. You can easily drag pictures onto the page. Look at all the art available. You can add pages by hitting the plus sign or subtract pages. 
you can design your cover. You can choose the style. So if you choose landscape, your name will automatically appear as the artist. You can change the colors if you'd like. And you can change the picture. So let's do this one. And if we'd like to add a title. We can do that as well. Okay, when we are finished or we're done for the day, we'll save our story. Okay, so it was saved, and now we can go create another one, or we can log out and come back some other time.